time and time again it just keeps on getting better five lights are on and enemies on pole position will get a brilliant style like to zoom a kdb got an equally brilliant style in the midfield good moves being made big man joe doesn't seem to have the pace he needs in the midfield they kept him uh, clean four abreast into turn one and one is off it's the haas avi is the one who's uh, buying the bullet there and he's down in a p7 already meanwhile at the back of the pack driver switching positions baby shumi fallen all the way down to p4 15 and in the midfield they're just swapping position after position ud up in a p3 kdb finds himself uh, leading this race and wheel to wheel go avi and gauts avi gets pushed off track almost and gauts still holds on to that p7 position they've got three cars to worry about closing in like uh, jets uh, with our vix 356 heading the pack who goes off track dub takes that position like taking candy from a baby and oxygen follows through as gouts has companies go uk behind him now who's also coming at him real quick yeah he's going to stay on the tail of gouts just as much as big man joe did on irox 24 and into the next corner he might just be ambitious late breaking into the corner wheel to wheel as they go through sector 2 and they're going to stay wheel to wheel but it's uk who's got what he needs and he's up at a p9 cuz losing two positions on a single lap not the greatest of things happening out on track for him he doesn't have his teammate either uh, and i doubt he has his team principal in his years uh as well up in front it's big man joe going up the orders ut has had an incident it's not the day uh, for the two boys in the aston martin uh, in game team he's lost his front wing not the first time as he heads into the pits uk seems like he will go for it around the outside wheel to wheel uh, with oxygen let's stay on board uk and oxygen just make sure he holds firm into his position will stay p7 he's, he's going to try at it, go at it again and this time there's no one stopping him as he enters sector 3 he's up in a p7 but oxygen comes back kicking doesn't he uh, and he'll go up in a p7 this is going to be two and fro uh, all the way on the main straight as well Yeah, he's closing in real quick and on the inside this time around he just might have everything he needs to deny oxygen uh, another switch back and yes he has uh, there was a bit of contact as oxygen attempted to look down the inside of uk but he didn't have um a gap there did he and he's stay p8 what a battle this is turning out to be in the midfield three cars uk rb ferrello and oxygen heading into turn 3 don't think this straight is long enough to make a move and everybody seems to have got a clean exit oh as oh. we speak a uk has been tapped by oxygen both of them go spinning into turn 4 exit and envy who just out of the pits survives that and makes a move on oxygen and then uk somehow make sure envy doesn't get past him and he's going to hold on to that position for that much longer oxygen close will attempt to close in on envy while he is in this position cuz you know envy is uh, charging up the order he wants to get that race lead back sooner than ever yeah every second he spends behind uk is going to be vulnerable to big man joe who is staying on a lap longer here and uh and we not wasting any time tries to go side by side into turn 11 12 but no uk stays ahead heading into the drs zone this is where envy might get the move done on uk drs slipstream and ers all deployed goes down the inside and makes the move stick uk with that 11 laps all minutes has to yield the position and take off his own race and we back into p3 starts underway and we leads the way a big man joe dub harry rocks rb fellow onto the straight uk is the struggling one who's left behind oxygen kdb ut everyone seems to be pretty well behaved for the safety car restart no one really challenging into turn one just yet or even turn two let's have a look Yeah, closest driver out on track was Avi and UT, but it seems like over the curbs, Avi just had a bit of a moment, lost out on uh, time in sector one, and we're going to see the order stay or probably not. Avi Ferrello, those soft tires, tires working, it's magic and closing in on High Rocks 24 as we speak. Yeah, just look at that under braking, under acceleration, how much more grip he has, and he's immediately onto High Rocks gearbox. looks for a move but it's too far and look at that oh look at that and he gets the move done down the inside rb fellow up into p4 that soft eyes working well for him fellow here yeah and a side by side almost 
and he goes all around the outside at turn 11 and 12 will he make it stick and he does and unfortunately derb loses the position to harry rocks as well down to p5 rb fellow now up into p3 on that soft tires <laughs> And yeah, let's quickly jump to KDB who's uh, making the move on Oxygen as we speak and we'll be up at a P7 just like that. Oxygen on the hard tyres of course um, and we'll stay P8 for now. Main straight, four cars, incredible drivers coming up. UK, Derp, oh, KDB and, and in the mix is Oxygen as well I presume. But yeah, they got DRS, they got Slipstream up ahead. It's Derp trying to make the move. I presume an Irox 24 couldn't quite get it. Irox 24 stays ahead. KDB on the gearbox of UK. Almost a four-way battle. UK defends on the inside. Around the outside comes KDB. And down the inside he'll go. And he might have just broke too late as he goes on to the gravel. Up ahead, Irox 24 and Dub go wheel to wheel through s uh, sector one as they exit it. Irox 24 spins. He spin. He spun. He's lost his oh, front right. And he's lost it. He's out of the race. That's it for him. That brings out another safety car. What a turn of events it's been. He comes across the final corner. He's got RB Fellow and KDB to worry about. We restart on lap number 21 from after the safety car. RB Fellow trying his best to close in, but it's KDB who's got company. Envy lines up, tries to line up alongside him, denies whatever he needs, KDB, and will hold on to that P3 for now. Yep, interesting restart here, everyone. Well, going to be making the move on it. RB Fellow will be looking to make a move on Big Mancho and pull away KDB. Will be defending from Envy and also the rest of the pack behind him who's on the subs. KDB already under pressure from Envy. Every corner Envy is now putting pressure and into the end of sector one but no cigar. Uh, KDB runs a bit while Envy picks up a three second penalty on for his uh, for his troubles and uh, you know now things are just starting to level out between these two championship rivals. Yeah, and I think that penalty just gave him a, a jab on the arm, you could say, as he closes in around the outside. He's going to peek. Uh, doesn't seem like he's going to be able to make a move done into the next corner. He's going to stay behind KDB and up ahead, Arby Ferrero uh, remains in P2 behind Big Man George. He comes along the main straight is where we might just see a move or two. Yep, derp. Lining up a move on KDB, similar to how Envy lined up K KDB as well. Side by side, almost into turn one, KDB goes defensive, derp. Takes the cutback line and gets a better exit. Better line as well. Tucks into the slipstream. Ducks to the outside. Along they go side by side into turn one. Gets the move around the outside. Contact. And KDB has to yield the position. Yeah, contact as well. He almost lost the car itself. Somehow keeps it on track. Now he's got UK to worry about on his tail. Who's got oxygen on his. So this battle, these battles don't stop just there. Envy's trying his best to close in on RB Ferrero as much as he can. But KDB, KDB might just have gotten a breath of fresh air as oxygen pulls ac across alongside UK as they go wheel to wheel through sector 2. There's contact as well and UK sent on to the grass. Oxygen goes up to position and so does Gouts to follow. UK will go or tumble down to P8. Gets ever so closer to RB Ferlo. Almost side by side. It's picking up the slipstream. Goes uh, to the outside. Well, he going to make a move? Is he going to make a move? Side by side turn one. And he sends it down the inside. RB Ferlo is down to P3. But looks like he's not really going to recover. Derp is now attacking RB Ferlo for the P3 as well. Derp now. Up into P3, around the outside he goes with the fresh tyres as well and RB Fellow in a moment of few corners drops down to P4. And yeah, and that's, that's the same corner Dub picked off KDB and he was able to pick off RB Fellow. Things are looking up for Dub. Up ahead, NV now within half a second of Big Man Joe. Big Man Joe is running low on battery power. NV senses the blood in the water here and is already closing up to big man joe it's looking like a move coming in for the lead from envy let's ride on board with him on the pit straight envy is not waiting he's just gonna send it into turn one no he just thinks of thinks better of it and prepares a move for turn three. Oh, oh he's it. because the envy has a spin and touch the wall and he drops down a position no way. and two and three now he's down to p6 and, and unfortunate there for envy uh, yeah, and a lot of things are happening side by side. Sartak. Yeah, and he finds What's himself happening? in the in the thickness of battle between KDB and Oxygen of all uh, drivers. You know, 
probably not the greatest of places to rejoin the track, but it is what it is. And we find themselves ahead of Oxygen and KDB, and UK is in the mix as well. RB Ferrello ahead on 12 lap old softs, and we are on lap number 26, three laps left. Yep, things are just taking twist after twist, and we have been served a treat in this Australian GP rerun. Big Man Joe leads from Dev and RB Ferrello, and we right behind Oxygen. KDB, everyone is gunning for a win over here. Everyone senses a podium. Everyone senses oh, a chance of a win. Three abreast. And now they're going wheel to wheel. UK and Oxygen once again. And down the inside, UK is going to attempt to make the move. Doesn't quite stick. But it's Envy uh, biting the bullet yet again. He's lost two positions. And it's UK who's gone off track. He's gotten, he's gotten things wrong. He tumbles down the order to P8. Yep. Envy looks like might have picked up some wing damage from the initial collision. Uh, at turn one after hit the wall and seems to be struggling to get back up to pace uh, which means now KDB and RB fellow are running away with the P3 and 4 KDB with that all the minions but fresher than the softs oh sorry to that's just David attention to P1 and 2 maybe exactly everyone is just swapping positions now 1 and 2 swap positions 3 and 4 swap positions yeah I mentioned and they're going side by side into every corner yeah here. I mentioned this earlier Derp he was poised for a great race result on lap number 27 he leads a race in the Boar Racing League for the very first time meanwhile Abi Ferrello getting picked off yet again by the same drivers who picked him off earlier it's KDB and Envy um, the title contenders as we see it might just have company for that title after this race uh, but yeah, they're running P3 and P4. It's that battle for that last podium position here today for them. And uh, Envy definitely will sense the P3 in his sights. Yeah, top seven. They're looking so goddamn good out there on track. And as I say Oxygen that, I... Oxygen and Yeah, exactly. Precisely to that battle as Gouts closes in on Oxygen. Props to him. He doesn't find himself in a position like this, uh, battling off with the Titans, as I like to say, as the two Titans in the oh ball no, racing KDB league go wheel to wheel. And yeah, KDB tumbles down the order. I was just about to switch to that. And just like UT had no front wing, now KDB has no front wing either. And as we speak of that, Derp crosses the line, gets P1. And uh, Envy crosses the line and takes P2 as well. And Big Ben Joe drops down to P1 personally. Oxygen picks up the last podium.